Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ram Prasad, your orthopedic specialist surgeon. I think by this time everyone must have forgotten what COVID was. And it must have been around 5 years since our country, India has reported its first case of uh, COVID. But it's not the same case scenario with COVID. COVID didn't forget us till date. In our orthopedic OPDs, day in and day out, we see a lot of patients who come up with hip pain. And if we do a detailed investigation in some of them, they come out to be due to avascular necrosis of femoral head. And in layman language, it is called bone death. So in this YouTube video, I will explain you how the COVID infection in the past can lead to present hip pain scenario. Before going into the detailed explanation or the mechanism, I would like to show you the anatomy, the concise anatomy of the femoral head. If you look at the femoral head, it is covered with cartilage, the smooth lining, which is similar to many other joints. So beneath the cartilage supporting it, you have the thicker subchondral bone, which is actually the supporting structure of the femoral head. And beneath the subchondral bone, you have the smooth bone with trabeculae and these trabeculae are filled with fat and blood vessels. Blood vessels are particularly important to the survival of this femoral head. And if we take a look at these blood vessels, they are actually very narrow in caliber compared to the blood vessels of other bones. And another point to note is the femoral head receives its majority of the blood supply from only one zone which is the lateral portion of the femoral thigh bone from the medial and lateral circumflex arteries. So it receives only a minor portion of uh, blood from the other three zones. So any pathology or any disease which can affect this zone which the lateral zone can lead to bone death of femoral head. Now let's see how COVID infection can lead to this avascular necrosis of femoral head. And the present scientific literature has already shown us that steroids, the steroid medication which actually have been the life-saving medication in critically ill patients during the first and second COVID waves is the major contributor for this bone death. It has been shown that these steroid medications when used for long duration means in lower doses or these steroid medications when used in higher doses in shorter period of time also can lead to bone death. There are particularly two three indirect mechanisms. One of the major indirect mechanism is alteration of the fat metabolism in our body. What is this alteration of fat metabolism? Means these steroids actually increase the lipid deposition in our body <clears throat> means it can increase the lipid fat deposition in the bony trabeculae increasing the intraosseous pressure or it can lead to excess lipid deposition in the outer caliber of the blood vessels narrowing its diameters so this increased intraosseous bone pressure and narrowing of these blood vessels can reduce the blood supply to the femoral head causing this bone death and another indirect mechanism is directly the covid infestation can also reduce the blood supply to the femoral head how whenever a person gets infected with covid it is the natural healing our immunity has to fight covid and treat our body so this excess immunological response to covid incites a systemic inflammatory response. So what does this systemic inflammatory response do is it increases the concentration of the pro-inflammatory cytokines. For example, you take IL-6, IL-1, TNF-alpha, all these chemical mediators. What do they do is they create an imbalance in the clot formation. Means it can create uh, clogging inside the blood vessels. What does this microclots do is this microclot formation actually reduces the diameter, the caliber of the blood vessels. As we have previously discussed that the blood vessels of the femoral head are already narrow and the blood supply as such is very precarious to femoral head. So this increased fat deposition, alteration of the intraosseous bone pressures and narrowing of the uh, caliber of blood vessels by the hypercoagulability created by COVID infection 
all these mechanisms put together can lead to the bone death so you can ask me this question so every covid infected patient who has been treated with steroid can get affected with this avascular necrosis of femoral head and bone death but it doesn't happen like that so there are a few susceptible patients means you can pick up some risk factors in some patients but you can't really predict who is affected but we see the patients who had history of uh, uh, smoking alcoholism or some pre existing comorbidities like uh, early diabetes they are at a risk of this uh, hip pain and bone death so this avascular necrosis of femoral head avn if it is diagnosed in early stages means stage 1 and stage 2 you can manage with medical treatment options but if you come late in the disease means in stage 3 and stage 4 then you might need to undergo surgical treatment options so i think uh, by this time you must have understood how the covid infection in the past can lead to hip pain and uh, bone death this avascular necrosis of femoral head in the present scenario so thank you for watching our video uh, we'll meet in the next video on another medical topic thank you